Dylan, do you realize what time it is? Why aren't you answering my calls? You're making me worry. Zoe, sorry, I was sleeping. You were asleep? Where were you sleeping? At the office. I can't believe nobody woke me up. Okay. You're gonna catch a cold sleeping there. You're right. I guess I'll go to a hotel nearby. What? Why a hotel? Well, there are no more trains. And it's better to just stay at a hotel than using a taxi to get home. I can get more sleep that way. You seem to be spending the night out a lot lately. I'm busy now. I can't help it. But I met Kenny's wife the other day. And she was talking about going on a family trip over the weekend. Your colleague seems to have no problem coming home every day. He's different. And he's not headed in the right direction. He's not taking this job seriously. Is that so? He seems to be really sincere. Yeah, he just seems that way. You wouldn't know. You're just a housewife. You don't even work. What do you mean I don't work? I'm working now. Yeah, at home. You think that compares to what I do? I'm outside working my butt off. I do understand that commuting and working outside is hard, but I'm still making money. So I'd like to be acknowledged for that. Okay, okay. I got you. Later. Oh, wait. You're coming home tomorrow, right? I actually ordered some of your favorite clams. I'm thinking of making clam chowder. Oh, well, that's thoughtful of you. Sounds good. So I really want you to come home tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I definitely can't miss out on clams. Good. I'll have dinner waiting for you. Okay, thanks. I'm off to the hotel. Good night. Dylan, you promised to be home early today. It's already past nine. My bad. I still got work. I told you I wanted to have a talk with you. Well, let's talk now then. Go ahead. I want to talk in person. What's the need for that? I'm busy. Get your point across. We can't even talk in person? What? I don't want to listen to your complaining. Now or never, what's it going to be? Fine. About Addison. Huh? Ring a bell? What? I don't know what you're getting at. No use trying to hide it anymore. I already know. You and Addison are having an affair. You're suspecting me of cheating for not coming home? Don't be so paranoid. It's creepy. I'm not suspecting, I know. I've been investigating you this past month. Investigating? I hired a detective. What? Why? Why do you think? You were obviously acting weird these past few months. Even when you were busy with your job, you never used to stay out overnight. But lately it's been happening a lot. Can you blame me for being suspicious? Thought you'd be able to get away by saying it's work? Still, how could you go snooping around my private business? Talk about chilling. You're the one cheating! It's your fault! I've been doubting you all along! But it's a month ago that I finally decided to investigate you. A month ago? What happened then? I made your favorite clam chowder. I was looking forward to enjoying it with you. You promised to come home early, remember? Oh, that's when I was loaded with work. I don't know what the reason was, but I absolutely wanted you to come home that night. It was our wedding anniversary. Oh, sorry. I completely forgot. Yeah, you don't care about me anymore. It's just an anniversary. What? Don't be such a bother. What? Is it my fault? Yeah, you're making me want to cheat by being so unpleasant. Always complaining, growing older by the day. Addison is so young and sweet. All of a sudden, you're legitimizing your affair. Well, I'm happy with my current situation. Nothing better than going out with a young, cute girl. Have you forgotten you're married? Don't you realize how despicable you're being? It's not like we have kids. It's just a matter of divorcing. You want a divorce? Yeah, I don't need you anymore. I don't want to be with someone who's going to hire a detective on me. Sooner or later, you'll start going through my phone. I don't want to go home to that. So you're serious about her? Of course. She's way better. All right. I guess it's good that you came clean. So let's get on with the divorce. Very well. But I will demand compensation. Don't forget to tell your girlfriend, too. She works with you. She must have known you were married. Huh? It's all your fault. If you were a decent wife, I wouldn't have had to go looking elsewhere. You are the problem. 
Why am I the one to compensate you? The state prohibits adultery, thus it is my right. Whatever. It's just about money. Did you make me go have an affair just to get money out of me? Don't be ridiculous! I was trying to mend things with you even after knowing you were cheating. I was hoping you would come back to me. That's why I was being so nice. I've had enough. I'll leave the house tomorrow. Go get the divorce papers. What are we having a talk? You left all of a sudden, and now you're ignoring me. You want me to go to your workplace? Can't even stay quiet and wait for a while? I'm too busy to be answering to you. I have my issues. Issues? That's not my problem. We need to talk about compensation and division of property. And what about all your belongings? You're just gonna leave them here? Just throw it all away. What? I need to deal with it. It costs money to dump all of this out. Money, money, money. That's all you care about. Because you're not even willing to talk. It's what comes along with carrying out a divorce. Well, then I'll make demands too. I don't owe you anything. It's you that needs to compensate me. How many times do I need to tell you? Oh no, you do owe me for living expenses. Living expenses? You want compensation for cheating? Then you need to pay for all the living expenses until now. I'll reclaim what I gave you. What? I took care of you as my wife all these years. You need to repay me. Rent, food, utilities. All of that ended up being a waste. I'll get all of that settled in turn for paying compensation. Settling our living expenses. Really? Awesome! What are you getting so excited about? You said we need to settle our living expenses, right? Then you'll sign the divorce paper and pay me compensation? Yeah. I'm completely fine with that. I'll take care of listing up all the expenses. What's with the change of heart? Didn't realize you wanted to divorce that badly. You should really learn some charm. You want to divorce too, right? Did you want to see me beg? No, not at all, but... Then everything is fine. I'll claim my compensation along with settling for expenses. Don't forget, you will comply to talks. If you try to weasel your way out again, I'll really pay you a visit at your workplace. I'm not going anywhere. I'm only glad to be getting rid of you. Marrying you is such a waste of my time. Hey, Zoe, what are you thinking? I got your claim for both living expenses and compensation. What's the deal? Oh, you got it. What is this? Why am I being billed close to $60,000 for both expenses and compensation? But that's what you demanded. You said we needed to settle the living expenses. I should be the one getting money for taking care of you. What is this amount? Can't you even calculate? Here's the deal. We've been married for three years. And think about it. Your net income per month is $2,800, right? Yeah. And you continue to spend about half of it for yourself. You only put in the rest for our expenses, right? Yeah. I've been giving you like $1,400 every month. So that's $16,800 a year? $50,400 over the course of three years. Our rent is $933. On top of that, we had the expenses of utilities, internet, insurance, and food, just to name a few. How much do you think I've been paying? And that car you bought last year, who actually paid for it? Well, that was from the marital savings. Huh? How was that savings marital? That's pretty much all my earnings that was in the savings. That can't be right. I make more than you. My net income has been over $4,000 a month. And I only spend like $250 for myself every month. You were spending your earnings like it was nothing. So I was not being taken care of by you. It's the other way around. You've been earning more than $4,000 a month? Yeah! How else would we get by with you spending so much for yourself? Nothing I said could stop your splurging. It was easier for me to just earn a living myself. But you work at home. Yeah, and? I may not have literally been working my butt off but I worked extremely hard to get to where I am today. I even cut back on sleep when I had to, all the while you were splurging and out playing with your girlfriend. You really are despicable. Don't you dare talk back to me. Well, I... I didn't realize you were making so much. Uh, it doesn't matter now. I've calculated everything exactly, so you need to pay up. 58,000 bucks. Plus, you're claiming like 27,000 from Addison, right? That's $85,000 total. Don't you think it's a bit too much? Mm, you're the one that demanded to settle living expenses. 
I only did what you said to do. Sorry, forget the living expenses. What? I don't know of any law that requires the settlement of living expenses. I can't afford that. It's you that started it. Once you realize it's you that has to pay, forget it? How convenient. No, I was wrong. Wrong? You just changed your mind? Zoe, you really are something. You've been earning more than me? Uh-huh. I'll settle with just the compensation, so pay up. A debt of $40,000 isn't going to kill you. Zoe, I'm seeing you in a new light. Huh? Addison actually has no savings. She's demanding I pay for her cut of the compensation, too. She's really useless. Excuse me? So, I've decided to return home. Let's forget the divorce. Are you serious? Yeah, I've been thinking these past few days, and Addison really isn't for me. But I couldn't back out, so I was playing tough. I'm sorry, Zoe. I'll make amends and become a good husband. You really think that's going to change my mind? You really are something. I don't want to be with you anymore, get it? You cheat on me after I take care of you all these years? And on top of that, you deny my worth. I was just bluffing. Disgusting. Huh? You're absolutely disgusting. Why am I going to choose to be with a cheating money pit like you? I'm glad to get rid of you. But the other day you were saying how you were hoping I'd come back to you. It's called a change of heart. I don't change minds easily like you. So it's too late. Just sign the paper. Zoe, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I won't splurge and I won't cheat anymore. Your words are so meaningless. I'm even more convinced that divorcing you is the right path. Marrying you was such a waste of my precious time. I had my attorney tell him to comply to the divorce and compensation, or his company will be notified. And my husband finally appeared to talk. He continued to cry and apologize, but it had no effect on me. Realizing that my mind was not going to change, he signed the papers at the third round of talks. Watching him cry every time we met was really irritating, so I am relieved. My ex's girlfriend did not have the money to pay compensation, so she had to borrow from her parents. Because of this, her parents are now suing my ex for defaming their daughter. The way I see it, they're both to blame. But it looks like my ex and his girlfriend are going to continue bickering at each other. I've become determined since deciding on the divorce, and my mind is now very clear. I was caught up in a mindset telling me that I had to take care of the person I decided to marry. Now I know that was a mistake. Finally being freed from the curse, I feel genuinely happy. I wish to live true to myself. I still have hope that one day I will be able to join hands with someone that can be mutually supportive with me.